Praise be Jesus Christ. Welcome our parishioners, friends, and visitors to St. Hedrick Church to our celebration of 28th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Please adhere to the restrictions such as the strict practice of social distancing and use of masks. Please note that the Holy Communion will be distributed only on head. Receiving Holy Communion on the thumb is strictly forbidden at this time. Thank you. Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. I welcome you all my dear parishioners, friends of our community, perhaps guests who are gathering with us for the celebration of the 20, uh, Holy Mass on the 28th Sunday in, of Ordinary Time. We bring with our prayers in our hearts for which we want to pray together during this holy sacrifice. So let us also remember to pray for people who are healing, especially sick children, invoking God's healing power over everybody who needs that healing power. Perhaps our own health issues as well. We commend to God's mercy all the deceased members of our families and friends in a special way. Uh, we will be praying for special intention and known to God for whom this Mass is being offered. And now, my dear brothers and sisters, now let us acknowledge our sins, sins and so prepare our hearts and ourselves to celebrate these holy and sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayers. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever.
a reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all peoples a feast of rich food and choice wines, juicy, rich food and pure, choice wines. On this mountain, he will destroy the veil that veils all peoples, the web that is woven over all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord God will wipe away the tears from every face. The reproach of his people he will remove from the whole earth, for the Lord has spoken. On that day he, it will be said, Behold our God, to whom we look to save us. This is the Lord for whom we looked. Let us rejoice and be glad that he has saved us, for the hand of the Lord will rest on this mountain. The word of the Lord. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not walk. The pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me, he refreshes my soul. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. He guides me in right paths. For his name's sake, even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. With your rod and your staff that give me courage, I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. the table before me in the side of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of and kindness follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, I know how to live in humble circumstances. I know also how to live with abundance. In every circumstance, in all things, they have learned the secret of being well fed and of going hungry, of living in abundance and of being in need. I can do all things in him who strengthens me. Still, it was kind of you to share in my distress. My God will fully supply whatever you, you need in accord with his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. To our God and Father, glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our hearts so that we know what is the according to Matthew. Jesus again in reply spoke to the chief priests and elders of the people in parables saying, the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son. He dispatched his servants to summon the invited guests to the feast, but they refused to come. A second time he sent out other servants, saying, Tell those invited, Behold, I have prepared my banquet. My calves and fattened cattle are killed, and everything is ready. Come to the feast. Some ignored the invitation and went away, one, of his, one to his farm, another to his business, the rest laid hold of his servants, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged and sent his troops, destroyed those murderers, and burned their city. Then he said to his servants, The feast is ready, but those who were invited were not worthy to come. Go out, therefore, into the main roads and invite to the feast whomever you find. The servants went out into the streets and gathered all they found, bad and good alike, and the hall was filled with guests. But when the king came to meet the guests, he saw a man there not dressed in a wedding garment. The king said to him, my friend, how is it that you uh, came in here without a wedding garment? But he was reduced to silence. Then the king said to his attendants, bind his hands and feet and cast him out into the darkness outside where there is, will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Many are invited, but few are chosen. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, we really miss the point if we think that the parable heard in today's gospel is about wearing the right outfit for a wedding feast. The message goes much, much deeper because the banquet referred to is eternal life in the kingdom of heaven. Jesus is saying that while the God, the Father, has opened wide the doors of heaven and invited everyone to come and join in his kingdom, entrance is by no means automatic and should not be taken for granted. It is not as easy as that, for we've got to work our passage by being spiritually prepared and prove ourselves worthy of that invitation. Furthermore, there is no room for being complacent, being lazy, because membership of the church does not guarantee our salvation. We are invited every single day to follow God more closely and our response uh, is the work of a lifetime. The wedding garment in the gospel is a symbol of a life in the footsteps of our master, Jesus Christ. The gospel should cause us to pause and think about the wonderful future 
that is without, within our grasp and reach. It is telling us that God is longing for our homecoming in the next world. Meanwhile, the only thing it is necessary, that thing is to make sure that we will arrive safely by responding to his commandments, to his mercy and to his love. Offering encouragement and support to our brothers and sisters, to our neighbors, we are extending the spell of Eucharistic celebration into every detail of our daily living. In this way, we are not facing life alone. We are walking with one another and with Jesus Christ. Amen. And now let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, trusting in God's merciful and abundant love, let us bring him our prayers and petitions. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For our church, may God continue to help us grow in holiness and strength as we nurture a culture of healing and life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For lawmakers, may God's grace direct their hearts in proposing laws that protect the life and rights of all people, including those yet to be born. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick, may they know the healing power of Christ, who is our divine physician. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us here, may the Lord continue to help us speak the truth and charity to one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For parishioners or friends who are ill, that they be granted healing of mind, body, and soul. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who work in the police, fire, emergency services, and health service departments, that God keep them safe as they help and protect us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For parishioners or friends who faithfully support our church, may they be abundantly blessed and protected. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died in the peace of Christ and for a special intention known to God, we remember the founders, builders, benefactors of our parish, and all the souls in purgatory. May God in his mercy and love grant them eternal rest and happiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Please add your private petitions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and eternal God, our salvation comes from you alone. As you watch over the lives of your people, 
Hear the prayers we offer this day and answer them according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering canceled out our sins. And by his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of the angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, 
We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, especially with Saint Hedwig, our patron saint, with Sister Faustina Kowalska, with John Paul II, with all our patron saints, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, in the, God, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O God Almighty Father, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And now let us offer each other the sign of God's peace. of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
the feast of heaven and earth, come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. Oh, come and sit at my table, where saints and sinners are friends. I wait to welcome the lost and lonely to share the cup of my love. Come to the feast of heaven and earth, come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. Oh, come and eat without money, come to drink without price. My feast of gladness will feed your spirit with faith and fullness of life. Come to the feast of heaven and earth, come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. My bread will ever sustain you through days of sorrow and woe. My wine will flow like the sea of gladness to flood the depths of your soul. Come to the feast of heaven and earth, come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of Thanksgiving, let us all together try in one voice, one heart, to say that beautiful prayer to the Blessed Virgin Mary in Latin. Salve Regina Mater Misericordia, vita dulcedo espes nostra salve, a te clamamus exules fili heve, a te suspiramus gementes et flentes i hac lacrimalum vale. Ea ergo, advocata nostra, Ilos tuos misericordes oculos ad nos converte, et Iesum benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis post hoc exulium ostende, o clemens, o pia, o dulcis Virgo Maria. Let us pray. We 
We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you make, make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. And now commending ourselves, our loved ones, and the entire world, uh, let us recite a prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirit who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. All the angels and the archangels, Saint Hedwig, Saint Sister Faustina Kowalska, Saint John Paul II, our patron saints, all the angels and saints of the Lord. Just a quick reminder, the Mass book for 2021 will open this coming Tuesday, October 13th. Remember, tomorrow is uh, Columbus Day, a civil, a civil day of observance, so the office will be closed. Please kindly call before you come to set up an appointment. The Mass is not going to be allowed to ta be taken by the, uh, via phone or uh, mail, just by your present, uh, uh, personally being there. So for that you need to set up an appointment so there is not a congested area. And please make sure that you do wear the mask when you come to do it. To well organize ourselves, please write down on a piece of paper intentions for when and for whom you want the mask to be set, offered, so that you will know it's up the whole process and speed up. And also to remind you that next Sunday we will be celebrating the feast of our patron saint, Saint uh, Hedwig. Uh, during the, um, after 10 o'clock mass, there will be exposition of the Blessed Sacrament and the novena to Saint Hedwig will be set. Also Friday at 5.30 will the same thing. So those of you who can join us are welcome to come and let's celebrate that the great feast. Um, let us remember that we are almost in the halfway through October. October is a month dedicated to the Blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of the Queen of the Holy Rosary. So please pray the Rosary as often as you can daily. Say it, you know, in the family circle, say it among your friends, uh, remembering, you know, the words of Jesus, where two or three gathered in my name, here I am in their midst. Especially, you know, we need that extra prayer, which Satan is very afraid of, uh, because we are living in such a difficult, unknown, darkened world, and we need all the help from above we can get. So the rosary certainly and definitely will help us, you know, to beg God's mercy and hopefully one day, you know, start living in a normal world. And those intelligent, 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 how do you say that? Intelligible, you know, uh, muzzles would be taken. <laughs> I call them muzzles. Okay, um, be good, be careful, watch for yourself, but don't be crazy. Use your thinking caps. Don't get, don't listen to TV, don't listen to any other, you know, medias because, you know, they lie big times. So use your prudence and, you know, and your brain. Okay, my dear friends, I thank you for your gathering together, be your presence here for celebrating together this beautiful sacrament and also for praying, singing together. Wish you a beautiful day and the upcoming week. Let it be blessed and protected. Let us receive now God's blessing for that. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you and protect you, God the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now let us go in God's peace. Thank you. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed 
are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now. Gentle woman, quiet light, morning star, so strong and bright, gentle mother, peaceful dove, teach us wisdom, teach us love, you are chosen. By the Father, you were chosen for the Son. You were chosen from all women, and for women, shining one, gentle woman, quiet love.